What is up besties and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Scotty Holiday. I'm a queer creator and a huge Star Wars nerd. So if you're into either one of those things, please consider subscribing for more. Disney and Lucasfilm just released the official trailer for The Mandalorian Season 3, and in this video, I'm going to be breaking down and speculating about everything we saw. Before I get into the breakdown, please make sure to like the video and leave a comment letting me know what part of the trailer got you most excited for Mando Season 3. Now, let's get into the breakdown. The trailer starts off with a voiceover from Din saying, Our people are scattered, like stars in the galaxy. What are we? What do we stand for? We see some familiar shots of Mandalorians from the teaser trailer and a couple new shots showing a group of Mandalorians traversing a rocky desert terrain. In one of the new shots we can see a Mandalorian with what looks like the signet of Clan Eldar on their pauldron. Clan Eldar were among the Mandalorian clans that pledged themselves to Bo-Katan Kryze, seen in Season 4 of Star Wars Rebels. Based on the way the scenes are shot, mixed with Din's voiceover, I wonder if what we're seeing is Din trying to unite the members of the Children of the Watch and members of the Mandalorian Resistance slash those who are loyal to Bo-Katan. We know the armorer feels a certain type of way about Bo-Katan, so I would imagine the members of Children of the Watch would feel the same. I'm also curious if Bo-Katan's history as a previous member of Death Watch during the Clone Wars will ever be brought up or mentioned in this season of The Mandalorian. Either way, Din really seems to be embracing the role of Mandalore. We see some more familiar shots of Mando and Grogu flying through hyperspace, landing on Navarro, meeting with Grief Karga, and some new shots of the city. Navarro's had a huge glow up since Season 1 and I'm really interested to see more of it in Season 3 as well. After this, we see a shot of Mando and Grogu flying through a heavy rainstorm in the N1 and I have a feeling this is on their way to meet with Bo-Katan. When we see Din and Bo's throne room in the Season 3 teaser trailer and later in this trailer, his helmet's covered in water droplets like he was just out in the rain, so I have a feeling this has to be shortly after their landing. Then we also get a quick shot of Mando speaking with the armorer on what seems to be the same rocky desert planet from the beginning of the trailer. As he informs her of his quest to Mandalore, we see a closer shot of the wreckage of the city of Sundari. From here, we go back to Tatooine and see a shot of the N1 taking off from Pelimato's hangar, now equipped with R5-D4. As they take off, we hear Peli shouting, May the Force be with you, which I found really intriguing since I'm pretty sure it's the first time we've ever heard her say it. After this, we see a shot from the teaser of Mando and Grogu flying over city while fireworks go off in the sky, and then another of Grogu pressing on the N1's controls, boosting the ship's speed. From here, we see scenes of a cityscape on what could be Coruscant, or even Hosnian Prime, and a close-up of Dr. Pershing flying through the skyway. Based on these short scenes, I have to say, the city slash planet looks great and honestly, right out of the prequel trilogy, and I mean that in the best way possible. Between this and Mando's N1, it makes me so happy to see things like this sprinkled into the post-original trilogy timeline, really tying things together from the prequels and the sequels. We also get a quick shot of Carson Teva of the New Republic and hear him say, there's something dangerous happening out there and by the time it becomes big enough for you to act, it will be too late. My first thought was that he was referring to the eventual creation of the First Order, however, as I thought more about it, I'm curious if he could be referring to the Imperial Remnant under Grand Admiral Thrawn. We also see some quick shots of what I assume is underneath the city of Sundari on Mandalore, showing some caverns, and a shot of Mando picking up a small abandoned Mandalorian helmet. I think what surprised me most in the trailer though was the next shot showing another Order 66 flashback in the Jedi Temple. Since Luke first helped Grogu unlock this memory in the Book of Boba Fett, I'm curious if over time Grogu's been having more visions from that night or slowly getting all his memories back. I'm also curious if we'll finally get to see who rescued him from the temple that night. I know a lot of people were theorizing that it could have been Barriss Offy based on a symbol from the wall in the flashback, and I like that idea a lot, especially since I think Barriss deserves a continuation of her story, and a true redemption from where we left her in the Clone Wars Season 5. If Grogu's rescuer is revealed in Season 3, I would love if he and Mando met up with them in the current timeline. In the next scenes, we see a dogfight between a squadron of TIE Interceptors and a Mandalorian gauntlet ship, but I don't think Mando is the one flying the ship, even though the trailer is cut to seem that way. We know Bo-Katan flies a Mandalorian gauntlet ship, which we saw in Mando Season 2, so my guess is that it's her flying the ship in these scenes. Throughout the trailer, we see many different locations and environments, but outside of Navarro, I can't imagine they're all on Mandalore. 
I'm curious if these scenes could be on the planet Kilvala. Kilvala is located within the Mandalore system and is actually the homeworld of House Kreese. Since we know Din visits Bo-Katan in what I assume is her ancestral home, and we see both the N1 and a Mandalorian gauntlet on this rocky, wet planet, I wonder if these scenes, along with the ones from the teaser trailer, could be on Kilvala. Let me know what you think of my Kilvala theory in the comments below. On top of the Order 66 scenes, the next thing I was very surprised to see in this trailer were Trade Federation battle droids. It looks like Mando ends up at some kind of droid bar where we can see multiple battle droids, astromechs, and protocol droids all hanging out. So the idea that there are droid bars in the Star Wars galaxy makes a lot of sense and I'm honestly surprised this is the first time we're seeing something like it in live action. After this, we see a familiar scene of a group of Mandalorians dropping out of a ship above Navarro, and then some new scenes of them fighting throughout the city. It looks like Paz Vizsla is among them as well. In the last scene of the trailer, we see Grogu heading to the opening of a cave, alone, just as a large beast jumps down blocking his path. The trailer cuts to black, and then shows the beast flying through the air from the cave opening as Grogu emerges with his hand in the air tapping into the force, looking very powerful and really in control of his abilities. Then, we see the Mandalorian Season 3 logo and the release date of March 1st, 2023. The official synopsis for Season 3 says, The journeys of the Mandalorian through the Star Wars galaxy continue. Once a lone bounty hunter, Din Djarin has reunited with Grogu. Meanwhile, the New Republic struggles to lead the galaxy away from its dark history. The Mandalorian will cross paths with old allies and make new enemies as he and Grogu continue their journey together. The series stars Pedro Pascal, Katie Sackhoff, Carl Weathers, Amy Sedaris, Emily Swallow, and Giancarlo Esposito. Speaking of Katie Sackhoff, I'm really sad we didn't get any Bo-Katan in this trailer. Y'all know I love the new wig, and honestly, I just love her character so much, so I'm just very excited for more Bo in Season 3. Din seems to be trying to unite the Mandalorian clans in Season 3, so I'm really curious what other clans we could see in this season. We know Sabine Wren is going to be in the Ahsoka series later this year, so I'm really curious if we'll see her introduction in this season of The Mandalorian. We also see Din back on Tatooine, so I wonder if we could see more of Boba Fett, Fennec Shand, or even Cobb Vanth. The synopsis for Season 3 mentions new enemies, but outside of the gang on Navarro, I'm not sure who these new enemies will be. Though we don't see him in the teaser or official trailer, we know Moff Gideon is confirmed to be back in Season 3, so I wonder if the Imperial Remnant will play a larger role. How cool would it be if we got our first live-action appearance of Thrawn in this season? I'd even be happy with a Thrawn name drop, to be honest, but we'll just have to wait and see. The trailer didn't really give too much away, so I'm sure Season 3 will be full of surprises and definitely a cameo or two. But what characters are you hoping to see in Mando Season 3 and what part of the trailer got you most excited? Let me know down in the comments below or hit me up on Twitter so we can chat about it together. If you enjoyed this breakdown, please consider subscribing to my channel so you don't miss any of my videos going forward. I really appreciate all of your support so much, and I just want to say thank you to everybody who has subscribed recently since I just hit over 200 subscribers. To keep up with all my Star Wars content, make sure to follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok at ScottyHolidaySW for all my latest updates as well. Thank you all so much for watching, and remember, this is the way.